welcome everybody to episode 11 of Flock of Geeks Gaming Podcast. I'm your host today, Defense, and we actually have a special guest today. Uh, it's uh, Caster. Yeah, we haven't heard from him in a long time. Yeah. So we got special guest Caster. Thanks for coming on the show, man. I, t- I found a place in my schedule. Yeah, I know. It's 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 a busy one. So yeah. It's like famous internet celebrity. Yep, that we are. <laughs> <laughs> we got a good show for you today. Uh, we got some news, some gaming news. We got a lot of gaming news, actually. Some good stuff. Not so sad, actually, so that's good. Yeah, more positive gaming news this week. Tons of games that we're playing. Well, I'm playing a ton of games. I am not playing a ton. I've been playing a couple, though. Yeah, I'm playing too much, especially for the content of the game. Yeah. And then we have a cool... Uh, section we're gonna do best power ups slash weapons today. I'm excited about this one. Yeah, it'll be cool. So any any power ups in a game or any weapons that technically are power ups, I guess you would say. Yeah, I mean any sort of weapon and or power up. Yeah. So, okay, cool. So let's start off with some news. We have a JRPG called Setsuna by Square Enix to come out this summer, <laughs> and it is very reminiscent of Chrono Trigger. Ooh, that's what it's inspired by. That is amazing, and that's the only reason I put it on here. What uh, system is this coming? It's from? coming to PS4, um, on f- and it's not coming to Vita in the states. It came to Vita on in Japan, so it's only coming to PS4. So this is already out in Japan. I'm guessing, yeah. Okay. Unless it's not, but they're only doing a Vita release of it. I'm guessing because of translations and stuff. So, yeah. So yeah, that'll. I, I'm kind of interested in that. It looks pretty similar to Chrono Trigger too. Well, I love Chrono Trigger, so I will be checking that one out. Yeah, it's it'll be fun. I don't know how I've heard nothing about this, though. Oh, uh, well, that's a thing nowadays. I mean, with all the AAA titles coming out, all those kind of lower-end RPGs are getting swept under the rug. Yeah, they just kind of sneak in there suddenly. Yeah, and then you don't know they're out, and then it's a month later, and you're like, oh, holy shit, I yeah. really want to check that out. Like, in Sphere, I did, we didn't notice that. Exactly, until five minutes before we turned on record. Yeah, so... <laughs> Yeah, so there we go. We also, this is really cool. I found this uh, this week, just uh, proves in the internet. Uh, there's a YouTuber called Moonlight Butterfly, okay? And he or she, don't know what sex they are, created a Demon Souls, Dark Souls 1 and 2 and Bloodborne full-length movie using gameplay and like conversations with NPCs to tell the whole story and lore. That sounds awesome. And they're like an hour and a half a piece. Ah, that sounds incredible. Yeah, so if you're interested, check that out. I'm really interested. I'd like to just sit down, have a beer, and watch some of that stuff. I would like the lore explained to me, too. Yeah, and I think it would be really cool because Dark Souls 3 is coming out. Kind of catch up on your lore because it's really interesting and good. A lot of people don't realize that. Yeah, it is good. It's just you have to find it. Exactly. So let's leave it up to the detectives of the internet realm to do that for us. Like, Yeah, thank God someone did it for me because like, that's a lot of reading. Yeah. So you should definitely check her out, uh, Moonlight Butterfly. It sounds like a girl. It does, but you never know. You never know. Was it a Moonlight Butterfly? Isn't that from the game? Isn't yeah, the Moonlight of... Butterfly is from uh, Dark Souls. Yeah, so maybe they just really like that enemy. That's a kind of a weak boss there. It's cool, though. It did look awesome. You were like on a bridge. It was pretty neat. Yeah, it was neat. Real easy, but it was cool. Yeah, so, so that's really cool. I'm excited to do that. I haven't done it yet. I've watched like probably like five minutes of a video from there. And it was really, really good. Yeah, that would be something I would definitely watch. Yeah. So check it out. When I get the interwebs. Yeah. Uh, We also got a new demo coming to 3DS that I'm quite excited about. What is that? It is Bravely Second. They're releasing a demo? Yes, they did for the first one. Basically, it's just a a generic open world kind of demo where you run around and level up and mess with jobs and stuff and see how you like the game and it has nothing to do with the real game itself but it transfers all your data over see that's cool yeah can you get to level 99 in it no that would be awesome i don't think so i just don't think the enemies would could adequately give you enough experience to even do that before the game came out i don't know man if you're one of those people i don't i don't i don't think it would work yeah because my boss said that like he used to in final fantasy 7 as soon as he got out of midgar he would just grind his characters to level 50 like that would take so long, like right out of the right out of the gate. How did he say how long that would take? No, nah, he said it took a while. Okay, that's I think a little. That's an underestimate there. Yeah, I would say weeks. Yeah, I would think it would at least take a week. I mean, that's like. I'm trying to think, 
I mean, even like grinding for an hour probably gets you where you need to be. Yeah, more powerful than you need to be. Like I wouldn't, I wouldn't say I would say like thirty hours, if not more. Yeah, of just grinding because it takes like fifteen hours of grinding near the end. Yeah. So. Well, if you want to get all the extra stuff. Yeah, I, I would never do that. No, did but, you? You never got the weapon, fought the weapons, or yeah, anything? I beat the weapons. Okay, I didn't. <laughs> you didn't beat the weapons? <laughs> no. Oh, you coward! I'm not a coward. I, I didn't actually beat grind the, for 15 hours, dude. I beat the ruby weapon. I wanted to see if I could beat it without using uh, Knights of the Round, and I did it. It took three and a half hours. Really? Mm-hmm. Did you pause in there at all? Yeah, yeah. I took a couple smoke breaks and stuff. <laughs> but I, how I did it was, I just I used Cloud, let my other two characters die. And then I just kept uh, mimicking Omni Slash over and over again. And did Cloud not ever get hit? Well, he got hit, but I just healed two rounds, then Omni Slash. Okay. And you can do it. It just takes a while. Oh, so it is. It, you could do it infinitely. Yeah. Oh, good on you, man. Yeah. I, was, I don't know. I was bored that day. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the reason I did it. So was it even that hard? Oh... Uh, I mean, it was, was it, more time consuming. I mean, than were there hard. was there a couple oh shit moments where you're like, uh oh. Yeah, there was there was a couple where I thought I was going down. Oh man, it was in the red. Keeping your cool. But I had full life, so I handled it. <laughs> Keeping your cool under pressure, man. <laughs> yes. So yeah, uh, bravely second. It's on the eShop. shop. It's free. It, you could probably honestly get like a good ten hours out of it. That's pretty sweet for a demo. Yeah, and then, I really want to play that game. The second one's fantastic. I have it. You mean the first one? That's yeah. That's what I meant. The yeah, first one's fantastic. You you're, you preach me about it, and I I really want to play it. I think it's just DS. I can't. Macy doesn't know where her DS is, so I was gonna steal my niece's DS. Wait, you have a DS? You're talking three DS? It's three DS. Okay. I was gonna steal her three DS, but she doesn't know where it is. And you even asked. Yeah, I you tore tried. apart my mom's house trying to find it, so it must be <laughs> in her room somewhere. At Ooh. your mom's or at her house? At her house. Okay. She needs to get on that. Get on it. Get on it. Macy, if you're listening, find your DS so I can have it. <laughs> get it, because he needs to play that before the second one comes out. Yeah. I think you really love it. I'm sure I would. It's fantastic. Yeah. Second one, I played a little bit of it. I wouldn't say it's a, like better. It, it's kind of along the same lines of it, but there's... I don't know. I'm just not right, really as into it as of yet, but it is a demo. Yeah, I mean, it's just the demo. Yeah, so we'll see, but... Wait for the actual game to make judgments. Oh, I won't. I won't. You know what I mean. Of course, I judged the shit out of Uncharted, and that didn't come out yet. Well, it, there's a difference here. They they claimed that Bravely Second was a demo, which is pretty much means it's the game, Yeah. but a demo form. Uncharted claimed it's the beta, but you know it's going to be the same exact thing. Yeah, it's going to be. That's it. Yeah. So it's not a beta. It's a demo. Yeah, because the, the un- it didn't change much in the Uncharted 3 beta from, like, the beta to the actual game. So. No, they're going to do, they're, you know, they're going to min mat I mean, they're going to nerf some stuff and figure that kind of stuff out. But, like, gameplay overall is never, it's not going to change. Yeah, so, one tier. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm tired of kicking that horse. Or no, uh, you know what? No, I'm, I'm not. not. No, I'm, I'm not, not either. No, we're going to keep, because it's going to come out, we're going to kick it. Yeah. And yeah. then a month, couple months later, once it patches, we're going to kick it some more. Yeah, I can't. Ooh. Until it gets back up and we can ride it into the sunset. Yeah, like I'm looking to now start hitting my ex-girlfriend. So. <laughs> Let's get it. I'll be in jail. <laughs> I'll tell you, and I'll come to one of those booths when we can talk on the phone. <laughs> and I'll just, I'll tell you how bad it still is. <laughs> <laughs> Even though after you hit her, she's still terrible. I'll put my hand up against the glass. Yeah. It's still so bad. <laughs> <laughs> Keep fighting the good fight. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah. The future. Anyway, okay. I got something that you don't care about, neither do I. All right, shoot. First Fallout 4 DLC. Woot, woot. It's called Automatron. Okay, whoa. It's about robots. Well, okay, at least robots are cool. See, I hate robots. How do you hate robots? Because they're not, they're not, they're not real. All right, fair enough. That's just silly. Do I get to control a robot or am I killing robots? Okay, so basically, it's it's actually not that much money either. It's like I think ten or fifteen bucks. Well, that's very reasonable. Yeah, 
and it's it's not their full fledged new DLC. It's more like just a side thing. Yeah, their full fledged one's still to come out, but it, it's uh, it reminds me of a it's like a Pokemon kind of deal where you have a robot companion, mm-hmm. and you're not yourself a robot. So I don't think you technically even really control robots. No, oh, well then that's different. Well, I, it would be cool, like let's say if you had a robot, you could make him like into a robot monkey butler, <laughs> like something like that would be cool. If he it went and like collected loot for you yeah, and stuff yeah. and cooked you food. Yeah, if he was like a robot butler. Well, you you basically like do- that creepy one from Rocky Four. <laughs> oh, dude! Happy birthday, Polly. <laughs> Like comes out of the shadows. Yeah. What's weird is in 1984 we had that, and I still don't have one in my house. <laughs> like know. that bothers me. <laughs> like I want that thing to be bringing me beer. <laughs> <laughs> if it's in Rocky and it's not in real life yet, yeah. what the hell? And as we know, Rocky is a documentary. <laughs> it's, it's, it's gonna happen. <laughs> with events taking place in real time. Yeah, I've never seen one of those either. That's a good point. Yeah, where the hell are the Rocky robots? Man, fuck Rocky. Yeah. I love I love that movie though, but yeah. you're right. That's bullshit. Yeah, it's bullshit. Where the hell are they? Yeah, if fucking robot advertisement. Yeah, you. I I feel like they should exist. <laughs> I mean, they existed in 1984 or whenever that movie came out. I don't know. I'm just throwing out a wild guess. I have no actual it's idea. Definitely when an movie. 80s movie. Yeah, it's definitely an 80s movie. Because it has the get, it has the good music. Oh, the best. oh, we 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 played one of them yeah. from the beginning it's of our other podcast. No easy way out. Yep. Best soundtrack ever, probably. <laughs> I'd agree. Huh. So, so yeah, this is robots. You basically can go up to a console of some sort, kind of like the power armor, and you can build your robot. You can put, like, each arm can do something different. You can have a different torso and a different head, and then the, you can, like, yeah, it can hover or move. Yeah, none of that sounds cool to me. Yeah, I'm not really interested either. Okay. I mean, Fallout fans, you probably will like it. But you okay? Fallout Four kind of lost me anyway. But then you're saying like the DLC I have to pay for is robots. Yeah, I'm out. That's it. That's we're walking. Wiping, wiping my hands. I'm done. <laughs> I'm not even interested at all. <laughs> robots did it for you. I hate robots, dude. Okay, so I'm trying to think of something with robots so that I really is. like, so and I can't a, do it. It's an open world game that. Is post-apocalyptic, which is my least favorite setting, mm-hmm. and now it's gonna just be robots, which yeah. is my least favorite. This is thing like everything you hate in a video into one, yeah. mm-hmm. and it's about guns. Yeah, and the main way to kill things is guns. Yeah, it's just everything you hate. I know, and nothing I like either, to be honest. I don't mind robots. I don't really. I'm not passionate about <laughs> robots. <laughs> the only robots I like is like Mega Man, but those don't feel like robots to me. Nah. They're humanoid. Yeah, they're like androids and shit. I still can't do it. I've been this entire time we've been talking. I've been trying to think of something with robots that I really like, and it's, it's just nothing there. Uh, didn't you like Zone of the Enders or whatever? Yeah, I do like Zone of the Enders. Okay, I remember that. That looked cool. That's mech suits. Yeah. See, I liked Gundam growing up. Yeah, I thought Gundam was cool. Gundam was okay. I didn't really like Gundam that much. I think I liked what I liked about Gundam was each Gundam was very unique. Yeah. And, like, different. Most robots always look the same to me. Yeah, most anime robots I never got into. That's the only one I ever got into. That's weird. I don't even really like Transformers that much. No. I I never liked Transformers, like, even as a kid. I like that Dinobots. Is that what they're called? The dinosaur ones? Yeah. They are robot dinosaurs. Yeah. Those toys were awesome. I had the pterodactyl kit guy, and a bully on the bus took it from me. That dick. Fuck him. I hate are, you. If, yeah, if we ever see you, punching you right in the face. <laughs> right in the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's Fallout news. Woo! Yay. Now we have something cool going on. All right. uh, there are talks of cross-platform gaming from PS4, Xbox, and PC now. I, I've heard this. Yeah. I guess Microsoft kind of was like, hey, we're willing to do this and open it up to developers, and they're waiting for Sony to say something. And Sony said we'd be happy to collaborate. Well, that's good. Yeah. Because they were already doing cross-platform play with the PC and the PS4 for Street yeah. Fighter. It was just a matter of the consoles saying okay. And so, they, yeah, they said yeah. 
So that's good. That's a very good thing. That'll be really cool. Because I'm, I'm like, I mean, I guess the like everyone we know has a PS4, but I still have like one or two friends that have their Xbox One mm-hmm. that I could play with and stuff. Yeah, it's always a kick in the nuts whenever you're like, yeah, let's play this game. Okay, and then like the very last question is, oh, what do you play it on? And it's the opposite console. Yeah. Son of a bitch. I mean, it's a lot rarer nowadays because the PS4 is so dominant, but back in the 360 and PS3, it's like well, there was a big divide between our friends. Yeah. Well, I also think it's weird that if you, it seems like everyone has a PS4, and then there are some people who have both. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So... I, I, I'm 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 thinking it wouldn't be a big deal for us, but overall there'll be more players in a game. Yeah, I think it's awesome. Yeah, you don't have to switch. Like, I mean, I don't really play COD, but everyone would be on the same server. Yeah, and that would be amazing. Yeah, I I still that's the thing though. I still think PC would not be in COD. No, you can't because of the mods. That and people just would cheat the Twitch gaming of it with the mouse. It's just I, I it's actually unfair. Yeah. It's it's on a different playing level, so I don't think they would do that for certain games. But like now that MMOs are coming out for console and stuff, I think this is a really good. Yeah, it's a really good thing. As long as the, you, I didn't even think about that, but like first person shooters playing with the mouse is an advantage. It definitely is. So like that, they'd have to be careful about stuff like that. Yeah, but I, the, the great thing about it is, I mean, games will probably last a lot longer too. Yeah, you're not relying on just one console base. So. That's yeah. a good thing. That's a very good thing. Yeah, I'm, I'm really excited about it. And I guess Rocket League is going to try to be the first game to do it. People love the Rocket League. Yeah, I'm going to say this. It's it's fun. It's a lot of fun. I just don't get the hype. I That's one I don't get the hype either. And I like it too. Yeah. I, just, I think, I mean, I kind of get it. It's really refreshing and different and fun. And just, I mean... There's strategy to it, of course, like we've been told a million times. But <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> you know who you are. But it's mindless too. Mm-hmm. You know, it's just like get in, play. And a lot of people know how to play it. It's quick and easy, and uh, it's, it was free. So and it's also like an easy learning curve. Yeah, it's it's very easy for a while, and then if you want to get real good, it gets hard. But that's with anything. Yeah, but like it's it's very welcoming to like new players. Mm-hmm. yeah definitely like you can just drive around and do stuff even if you're not good at video games yeah and it, it rewards you handsomely you get new cars and new mm. paints and all that so it, it, i mean it feels good to play it and i think it's a good game i still prefer a lot of other g- games to it yeah i mean I it's a fun game though. i wouldn't sink tons of my time into it but it's good yeah that's kind of the same way i felt about bro force like i liked it it's good but i'm not deeply invested in it sure i think yeah. it's the greatest thing since lace bread well, I wouldn't say it's as good as sliced bread, but it's damn close. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and the other thing I found out, you know how it's real glitchy and we beat it and like at the end of the game, it's super frame, the frame rate drops. Yeah. And uh, there's- Bro that, force. Like, yeah. Yeah. The bro force. And there's that glitch whenever like you start the mission, you like move two steps and then you get frozen in sp- place and yeah. then you pretty much always die. One of you always goes down. Yeah. Especially that last level, man. That was like cheap ass as hell. Yeah. But- I guess the game's technically in beta. <laughs> really? Yeah. Like, Steam, that's how they do Steam a lot of times, is they'll release the beta game. You can pay for it, and then when it's fully done, you just get it, you know? Well, they kind of jumped the gun and did that thing for uh, to get onto PlayStation, and they won, but the game's not technically done. <laughs> oh, so that's why it had that so, slow down. And- yeah, so I guess it's more or less because it's in beta than anything. But what's funny is it's like it didn't even bother us that much. No, it wasn't that bad, but it's definitely noticeable. Oh, it's a definite issue, but it's like it never really like stopped us from having fun in any way. No, sometimes it actually made it even more <laughs> yeah, it was, fun. Yeah, it was hilarious. He's the one that's going to die at the beginning. <laughs> exactly. Jump left. Oh, no, I didn't make it. <laughs> So it's good. I mean, the game's fun and stuff, and it's, I mean, you would really wouldn't notice it until the end. Nah, that's so. only when it becomes an issue. It's the last couple of levels. Yeah. So I'm guessing there's going to be patches coming for it, and it'll be fixed up. All right. So there's that. Okay. So I got some really cool news for the new Batman Killing Joke oh, awesome. movie coming out. You knew about the movie coming out. Oh, right? yeah, absolutely. So if anyone doesn't know, the um, Alan Moore... Killing Joke is coming out as a, you know, animated film. Yeah. Super excited about it. And Mark Hamill and K. 
Kevin Conroy have officially said they're going to be in it. Yes, I've heard that. So, very excited about that. That's So, I figured I'd throw it on there in case anyone didn't know. Yeah, that's very exciting. The two best. I mean, Kevin Conroy is Batman to me. Oh, he always will be. Yeah, same with Mark Hamill. He's the best Joker. He's the best Batman. It's perfect. I <laughs> actually just want to see... We were talking about this. They should do the voice modulator, just Kevin Conroy's voice. <laughs> that would be awesome. Was, then you wouldn't have to hear Ben Affleck. People would love it. It would be great. I know. It just, <laughs> they get Ben Affleck, and then they just change his voice. <laughs> That'd be so good. I know. It would be the greatest thing ever. Have you ever seen them like actually in the studio taught like doing voice acting no. with each other they're in the same room really and they like act at each other and stuff it's really cool that's awesome they did it a lot for arkham knight like, yeah if you watch some of those like development dialogues and like diaries and stuff it's really cool if you've never seen it check it out they're awesome they're so good at that yeah they really are so yeah I know, there's that <laughs> yeah i'm excited for that movie i wish it would have a release date i know but but no. take your time make yeah. it good because It'll be fantastic. Yeah, I mean, it's an epic tale. If you keep to the content, you know, the content of the... I feel like novel. they'll follow it closely because they did a really good job with The Dark Knight. Returns, yeah, and, so. and there's no reason why they would stray from it. Yeah, and they, the the DC animated universe is just always good. Mm-hmm. Like, they've never really made a terrible movie. This is true. I mean, there's some I don't like as much as the other ones, but it's like your bar is so high because mm-hmm. the quality you put out is so great. So. Yeah, so I'm very much looking forward to that. Yes. Um, in in some sad news, unfortunately, uh, uh, Pokemon creative design director Eric Medell has passed away at age 42. That's kind of sad. Yeah, he's really young, and it was a complete freak accident. He right. was driving down the highway, and a tree blew into his car. Wow. Yeah. When it's your time, it's your time. I yeah. guess. Like, it was. It's crazy. Uh, I was on the Reddit looking at just stuff you know looking up gaming stuff and that was one of the top posts i looked into it a little bit and a lot of people from seattle didn't like remember the news story but they didn't realize it was this guy yeah like so it's a big hit to the pokemon world yeah and that's a big world see that's the thing because like i'm older um like kids like i worked with a kid who's like 20 yeah 21 that age group like pokemon was their thing yeah like, it's a real big deal to yeah. this kid. See, I that. like it. I like the games. I'm not a huge fan of the lore or anything, but I love the games because it reminds me of, like, a traditional RPG game. Yeah. And that's why I like them. But and like, I like evolving, and it's cool. So I enjoy the games, and I did grow up with it, but I'm not as heavily invested as a lot of people are. Yeah, like, a lot of p- younger people, like, in their early 20s are really invested in Pokemon. And it, it's they just grew up with it, where I was, like, 10 years too late for that. Yeah. I wouldn't sit down and watch the shows or anything. But I, I would. <laughs> well, there you go. Good for you. I remember going to see that movie. I saw the movie. I saw one or two of them in the yeah. theater. But I like the. I'll buy the new one. I think it's like Sun and Moon is the new one. See, I won't. I won't buy a new one. I never even played one. Ever. No. Oh man, they're good. I'm pff- sure they are. They are. I mean, maybe I'd play one if I had a DS, but Macy can't find it. <laughs> I'd let you borrow one. Yeah. But, it, uh, yeah, they're really good. Why well, have a regular DS? Actually, I have two of them for some reason. I think X and Y are on the DS, and I don't think that was very well received. Oh, okay. Because they sw- like there was, like, the Pokemon, no one really liked them. They were new. Eh. It was okay. Yeah. The newer ones are cool because it's, more 3d it actually looks really good ah but you got to play the original man like blue and red and yellow and <laughs> yeah the old green game boy ones yeah oh man i sp- oh i went to arizona and i asked for <coughs> i think i asked for pokemon either red or yellow and it was my birthday and i got i got it and by the i played it all night and into the next day in one sitting i beat the game nice uh, i mean if anyone knows out there about Pokemon, you know it's not short. I never do that. I, the, there's only two games in my entire life I've beaten in one sitting. And that's Resident Evil 5 and Resident Evil 4, actually. Those oh, really? Two. Yeah. Mine are God of War 1. Couldn't put it down. 
Loved yeah. it so much. And I think I did it with the second one, too. Yeah, God of War 2 might have been that for me. I don't remember. I don't think I've ever... I don't think there's another game I've done that with. Yeah. I usually purposefully take breaks because I want to. I want it to last longer. Yeah, I know. That's what I, you know, <laughs> I don't want to beat this in the first day. Then I'll be sad. <laughs> yeah. But there's those two games, man. Oh, I couldn't stop. Yeah, I just remember Resident Evil 5 because me and Matt did it. And we, we, we only stopped briefly once to eat pizza. <laughs> that was it. We did it in 10 hours. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm feeling a segue. Okay, segue away. To Resident Evil. Yes. <laughs> this isn't really anything to do with the game. Oh, But it's kind of cool. I think All it's right. funny. Uh, Resident Evil T-Virus Fragrance Cologne. Yes. <laughs> I'm actually getting that. Well, it's sold exclusively at the Capcom Cafe in Japan. Oh, man. But I may, it might come out. Yeah, I mean, know. that's going to be a hit. Yeah, it's hilarious. That is it, fantastic. It is like, the bottle is so funny. It's like has umbrella. And then, oh. And it says T-Virus. On man, it. I've always wanted like some sort of Resident Evil like clothing or something to you know pronounce to the world that i love resident evil and <laughs> what better way than a fragrance i know plus i always smell so that would help <laughs> so you smell like the zombie yeah. that you are yeah i would rather at least smell like you know a zombie than <laughs> caster because i mean i get a lot of complaints <laughs> so, so i'm just thinking like what the hell is it gonna smell like like is it gonna smell like death zombie blood i don't know we gotta look into getting a bottle of this yeah we can give it away. Yeah, let's Google <laughs> this. No, I'm not giving it away. I'm going to wear it. <laughs> so, yeah, it's out there. I thought okay. it was hilariously yes, that, good. That is fantastic. I, I know, to get that. I know. You're welcome. Thank you. I'm going to get <laughs> to the Google. <laughs> Hi-ho. <laughs> to, to the interwebs. Okay, we got uh, something I'm not too excited about. All right. A new Indiana Jones movie coming in 2019. Yes. Uh, starring Harrison Ford. Okay, he's back. And Spielberg. He might be dead by then. Let's hope. What's that? I mean, <laughs> there's no way it's going to be as bad as the fourth one. So maybe, All right. well, maybe lessons learned okay. will make it better. Did Spielberg do the last one? I believe so, yeah. I okay, mean, Lucas. Our friend Jeff is confirming. So he did do it. Yeah. Dude, that was the biggest pile of shit I've ever seen. I mean, it's not great. It's not it, great. Should not be in sentences to describe that movie, even uh, if it's the negative version. I mean, it's okay. Not it's, at all. It's not okay. It's not that bad, dude. Shia LaBeouf is in it, first of all, Ooh, and he's he great in around. everything he does. He swings around like a fucking monkey. That is pretty bad. Harrison Ford survives a nuclear bomb in a refrigerator. Yeah, none of it is good. No, you're. I know. I'm glad I could convince yeah. you in two scenes you, uh, that I'm right. Yeah, I'm. I was just trying to play devil's advocate, There's, but no, I, I can't, can't do it. No, because it's ask terrible. The, if you Shia Buff is terrible. If you ask the devil himself if that was a good movie, he'd say no. Yeah, he'd be like, I can't do it, guys. I'm sorry for that abysmal. Yeah. thing it, it was pretty bad and then you get the alien oh spoiler alert yeah, there's aliens yeah, why are there aliens in an indiana jones movie okay let's i don't want to get into talking about how bad the fourth one is let's stay positive <laughs> they're going to like realize their mistakes they're going to come out with an excellent film no they're not i wanted it to, i wanted it to be chris pratt maybe this is the one where they hand down yeah he's going to hand him the torch Let's hope. He's going to call me. And maybe they'll pretend the fourth one never happened. That would be their best move. Yeah, because what? Uh, Shia LaBeouf just doesn't exist anymore? That would be great. I know. But, like, you know, you can't, like... I mean, X-Men did it. They pretend, like, the third movie in X-Men Origins Wolverine never happened. True. So, I mean, there's a precedent. <laughs> you just... just it, uh, Don't even mention it. It just seems like those sometimes... Hollywood, well, most of the time, Hollywood just doesn't realize how bad some of the shit they make is. Yeah, they don't. So they just pretend like, oh, yeah, it's, it's good. So yeah. we're just going to keep going. Yeah, it. it wasn't that bad. But, like, even, like, look at the X-Men. Like, didn't Charles Xavier die in the third X-Men movie? And Yes, he did, Jeff confirmed. <laughs> okay. And then <laughs> there's no mention of it whatsoever when he comes and he's just in the new one. Yeah. Like, they're just like, don't even mention it. Nobody saw that movie. I didn't, so I wouldn't have known. I Yeah, <laughs> I knew, and I was curious about it, but then I just let it go. I think we need Jeff. I, I think we need Jeff in here to be, like, the referee. <laughs> yeah. Be like, are we right? 
Yes. <laughs> no. Well, I mean, that only works for movies. Well, he's, he's pretty good with other things like comics and stuff. Yeah. So, yeah, there's Indiana Jones. I'm not very excited about it. I wish Harrison Ford would just kind of peck her off. I'm, I'm lo- like, I love Harrison Ford. He's making Blade Runner, too, as well. Oh, is he? Yeah, that's coming. Jeez. It seems like he doesn't want to be in movies anymore. No, he doesn't. Like, just his demeanor. It's like, he, I mean, he's fine at acting. He's very good, and he does a good job. But just, like, seeing him in real life do things, it seems like he's just spent, and he doesn't want to do it <laughs> yeah, anymore. Yeah, he doesn't care anymore. I think that's why he was so good in the new Star Wars. Because he, he acted just like he probably yeah. lived. And yeah. he, he knew he was going to die, so he's like, yeah, I don't have to do this shit anymore. <laughs> Spoiler alert. Yeah. Oh, come on. <laughs> Hey, I'm just throwing it out Who there. It's hasn't a little late. Seen that yet. It's God. If you haven't seen it, then you you deserve to have it ruined. <laughs> yes, you do. That's my opinion on that. Okay, so we'll move on. Fourth Let's. Indiana Jones was bad. Anyway. It was bad. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, what do you feel about the new Aquaman that was released? What Aquaman? The new Aquaman picture that was released. You mean Jason Momoa? Yeah, Momoa. Ma- 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 I think he looks dumb. Okay. To be honest with you. Yeah, they were finally released like a full kind of outfit picture. I just think that, well, I guess they had to do that because like everyone thinks Aquaman's so dumb. Mm-hmm. So if they release like this beautiful blonde man. They'll continue to Everyone would just be like, yeah. he's so gay, it's gay. Yeah. He's gay. Yeah, so they have to make him look. Do you know who Roman Reigns is? No. Nah. Okay, well. For you, oh, those of you who watch uh, wrestling, he the, just, the ten of you, yeah, uh, you'd be you'd be yeah, surprised actually, you come out of yeah, the woodworks. Oh yeah, I know. It's like weird when someone uh, you watch re- really, <laughs> yeah, you you admit to that. <laughs> yeah, like uh, the first thing I would do is not tell people. <laughs> well, those of you who do know ro- he looks just like Roman Reigns. I know you probably don't know. No, I don't know who that is. It looks just like him. Okay, I mean Jason Momoa does look like him. Yeah, but he so, has like dreads. It just. I'm going to watch this movie and think it's Roman Reigns the whole time, and I want to throw up. I do like Jason Momoa because I used to like him in Stargate Atlantis. Well, I don't... Yeah, I never saw that. Yeah, it's a good show. It's a, yeah, it's one of my favorite sci-fi shows. I th- I mean, he was good. I'm not the biggest Game of Thrones fans fan, but I like it. I enjoy watching them. They're not too bad. It's okay. Yeah. it's like I'm not going to go out of my way. But I'll binge watch a season if, I, if I'm feeling Yeah, frosty. if someone wants to get together and watch it, I'll watch it. Yeah. But I'm not going out of my way. Yeah. If I can get it for free, I'll watch it. Yeah, I'm not paying. I'm certainly not paying for it. <laughs> but Call Drogo from that was good. He was mm-hmm. really well done in that. Probably because he didn't speak English, I'm guessing. But um, then he became Conan. Yeah. And, uh, I mean, that's blasphemous. Uh, yeah. They, that Conan movie wasn't that bad, though. But they shouldn't have called it Conan. Well, that's it what was. that's what got it sold. I get it. Yeah. But if they would have just made it something else, then you could have lived with it. If they would have just named it like Barbarian or, or Arthur the Barbarian, or something, Steve like that. the Barbarian, that would have been better. Yeah, would have you would have been able to swallow it a little easier. Yeah, I mean, because they're trying to like you know you knew there were like itching for a trilogy or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but they just of course they didn't get it. There's only one Conan. There really is only one Conan. It's and like, why bother? I can't wait for him to make his new ones. Do you think he actually will make them then? Yes. I'm 100% confident <laughs> okay. that he will. Hopefully he's King Conan. I have one prayer at night no. when I go to bed. Yeah. And it's... Please, God, let Arnold make another Conan. Yeah. Please, God, let it be Conan. <laughs> That's all I want to wake up to <laughs> tomorrow. Yeah, I mean, I like Jason Momoa. Like he was cool in Stargate Atlantis. Okay, I like I he can't was, say anything. I didn't see it. He was like, uh, I watched that show so much back in the day. Um, and he he was good in it. Like that's an often overlooked sci-fi show that I think was really good. Actually, it was like one of my, it's generally a good sci-fi show. He played the like badass like space guy. Kind of like everything he played. Yeah, it was a standard thing, but he did it well and. Then, good show okay so i've always liked him so maybe i mean he'll be cool as aquaman i think i just i think he'll be generic and i don't think he'll i just don't think he'll have a really good night like a real presence no you know i think it's just people don't really know enough about how awesome aquaman is yeah so they just assume he's just like some wuss who talks to fish so they had to go well let's get the most badass jason momoa like actor 
Well, why don't we get Jason Momoa? Yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah. That's exactly what it was. Um, for me, I think the outfit's kind of generic and bland, as most superhero costumes are to me. Yeah, like you know, like the black X Men costumes. Oh, that was the worst. Yeah, it, it, it's what I don't understand. Okay, we're coming out with the new X Men movie. It takes place in the eighties. It's time. This is your chance to put them in the ridiculous costumes. It's the 80s. I like, know. Pe- did you, do you remember what people looked like in the 80s? There was so much neon. <laughs> yeah. They'd yeah. fit in. Yeah. It no would, one would question it. No one would question it. Be like, oh, that's just what Cyclops wore in the 80s. And that's the thing I don't think like a lot. They don't get. It's Put Wolverine. Okay. Put Wolverine in his yellow and blue tights. Okay. Just make it a little like darker. You don't have to make it neon yellow. Yeah, you do. I agree. It's the eighties. But I'm saying, even if you didn't, you could make <laughs> it look okay. Mm-hmm. You know, like they're too worried it's going to look too much like a superhero. Yeah, it's whatever. But you can do it. You can pull it off. It's been done before. I know it has. Man, yeah, like in YouTube video. Yeah. Did you see that one? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it was awesome. Those guys are pretty good. Wolverine versus Predator was badass. Yeah. And that costume's sick. Yeah, Whoever's they, playing Wolverine should play him in real life. Yeah, and just use that costume. Call those guys up. Yeah, and you be that have it be that guy. It'll save you a lot of money, a lot of time. Yeah, it's already mm. done for you. And then you don't even have to look for a replacement for you, Jackman. Exactly, he's already there. Yeah. Okay, so Aquaman, he the costume, meh, meh. It's exactly what I expected from nowadays this, co- heroes. Yeah, this DC universe, I was just like, yeah, that fits. Yeah, it's fine. exactly. It's too. Uh, what am I gonna say? It's too Jason Momoa. <laughs> yeah, too many tribal tattoos and like, yeah, he, you, like that's kind of it. Does it like why would Aquaman uh, well, tribal tattoos? I mean, I guess the Atlanteans are kind of a tribe. Yeah, but they're not a land tribe. Yeah, they, they should have their own kind of tattoos. How how would you get that to even work underwater? Also, the ink <sighs> mystery. Yeah, <laughs> and I don't like it. Well, he can come up. That's, yeah, yeah we're, we're thinking too much. They, yeah, they draw. They they go up to the surface to get tattoos and then come <laughs> back down. That's that's what it is. Jason Momoa, what a turd bucket. Yeah. yeah, he was called Drogo, died, and then became Aquaman. <laughs> yes, that's probably where they're going with it. Hopefully, that'd be probably a better story than what they're gonna do. Yeah. Anyway, sorry. Boom. Boom. Negative again. You're always with the negative. Oh, do you want my want to do my good news? Yeah, let's do some good news. Okay, the there are rumors. These are just rumors, but. Rockstar is going to do talk Red Dead 2 at E3. So hopefully that's true. I'm orgasming. Yeah, Andrew's having an orgasm. So as soon as he's done, we'll talk about the idea of a Red Dead 2. All right. I'm I'm, I'm almost done. He's almost done. Me, I'm not having an orgasm. I'm just slightly excited. I'm done. Yeah. I'm so excited, dude. I love the first one. Oh, it's good. It was, oh, it was game changing. Like, it was one of the few games that, oh, I just remember it so fondly and so well. And the online was awesome. I liked how it began with, like, the showdown. Yeah. Well, did, you had that. You had, like, the shootout to see who stayed alive to get, like, the better positioning, which was cool. But there was also the open world mm-hmm. multiplayer. Yes. You could just run around and shoot people, and, like, that's it. And it's it's amazing, and I don't know for the life of me why I didn't keep playing it. Yeah, probably just because it got old. But I didn't even play it that much. It was perfect. Yeah, and that's the one Rockstar game I really like. Yeah, because I mean they they undoubtedly make awesome video games. Yeah, they do. It's just the whole Grand Theft Auto aesthetic. It obviously pleases a lot of people, but for you, I get it. Like I'm kind of in between. I just don't want the gangster rap, guns, shoot you know shooting drugs kind of game yeah i like the old west yeah it's cool it takes you out i don't want to play a modern game as often yeah and i I mean red dead the story's great yes Um, it is gunplay is excellent satisfying as hell too and you see bullet holes in their heads yeah um playing poker is fun and cheating it is if you get dude do you know if you get caught you get called out and you get oh yeah shoot out yeah yeah yeah. it's so awesome that was like the first thing I did was <laughs> try and get caught cheating, playing poker. <laughs> and the, like that is a really solid game. So that's cool. Yeah, I'm very excited. I really, really hope it's true. And I think it's not like Rockstar doesn't have enough money. 
And I feel like they'd make another Red Dead 2. I feel like they liked it and it did well enough that they would do it. I mean, how many Game of the Year awards did that thing get? I don't even remember. I remember it being Game of the Year in everything. Like, Game Trailers, Game Informer, Game Spot. Like, just all of them gave it to that game. Because it was incredible. Yeah, and there's no reason not to make another one. It's going to be successful, so... I mean, the thing is, it's it, the question is, would it be as successful as Grand Theft Auto Six? I don't know. That's a tough call. The answer is no. No. I really think it's no. But I think what they're doing is, since Five was so successful, they're just going to let that run its course because it's still selling as like the best game of the month. Still, that's crazy. It's still up there in all the like in the charts. So they're just going to keep patching it and adding a little bit here and there and just let it run its course, and they'll just put out another game while they're doing that. Yeah, that's a is, very good idea. Yeah, because it's a, you know, all the fans of Red Dead get their Red Dead, and now they'll have two really good games. There's no reason not to make another Red Dead, so I think this is probably true. Like, it wouldn't just, like, surface if it was there was no truth I to mean, it I mean, people whatsoever. have been really grasping for straws, but there's never been this, like, uproar of rumor before. Yeah, exactly. Like, they're always like, oh, they're going to do a Red Dead 2. And, like, there was hints and stuff. Now there was, like, a couple, ev- like, there's evidence of some of the developers, like, hinting at it. Mm-hmm. There's a good chance that this could be true. Yeah, I'm really, really hoping. So then that's something to look forward to at E3 as well. So I'm looking forward to Red Dead 2 and Zelda. Yep, those are going to be your games. I got nothing for me. That I'm super excited about. Yeah. So maybe we'll see what happens at E3, and maybe it'll excite me. Yeah, I, I'm, there's probably going to be a couple cool things, maybe yeah. some new IPs or something. Because like a lot of the franchises I truly love seem to be dead. Like Devil May Cry is dead. Yeah. Ninja Gaiden's dead. God yeah. of War is dead. Yeah. Um, Resident Evil is dead. Yeah. Like, well, oh. they're coming out with the second one remastered. Well, you know what I want? A new game. <laughs> like, I'm sorry. Well, it's so funny because I was on the same. I was on the same plane as you, man. And I'm like, okay, you keep making all these remastered games. Why don't you just make a a new one? Yeah. Okay. Well, in the case of Resident Evil, for the most part, I agree with you. But in the case of Resident Evil, I don't even want them to because they'll just make a pile of shit. So just remaster a game. No, I really like. No, liked. no, I'm not. A, see, did you like six? I didn't like it enough to beat it. Okay, that's sad. I really liked it. I didn't think it was that bad a game. Like, it was fun. Did you like it better than five? Yes. Okay. Yes, I did. Okay. So, I don't know. Like, It's I don't... becoming too action-y, man. Yeah, it's fine with me, though. Like, I don't. I just want to play Resident Evil. I don't, don't care you want what survival you... horror? Don't you want that mix of action and <sighs> suspense and scariness of four again? I do, but four was lightning in a bottle. You're never going to catch that again. I know. So. I guess. I don't know. I I just want it to not be done, basically. I get it. I get it. I understand. Yeah. I'll come rub your back. Because, like, so many of my franchises that I just truly love are just dead. Castlevania's dead. Like, I, I can just... Like, all this new stuff, it's just sad for me. Like, the best I had was Uncharted. That's dead. Like, cause even if they like, you know, they're going to release this game and let's say I'm pleasantly surprised they've said it's going to be the last one. Yeah. Well, there's huge rumors. Crash is coming back. Crash Bandicoot. I don't give a shit about Crash Bandicoot. I don't really. either. I, I would. I mean, if you told me Jack was coming back, I'd be pretty happy about that. Well, that's like the Ratchet and Clank coming out. Yeah. Ratchet and Clank coming back is cool. Yeah. But yeah, I don't know. Like a lot of my favorite franchises are just dead well it just kind of sucks because it's you're am right I be, am i becoming a grouchy old gamer like that's no good i think you are i think i am like i'm, I'm saying the games in my day weren't <laughs> as good you know well the thing is i played them all too and you're right there aren't those anymore it's sad because there still could be but they're all getting messed up or they yeah they just died and they stopped yeah like pt i would have been so excited for a new silent hill yeah it's just, gone just leave it to konami man i mean at least like with mega man and castlevania like they took over the developers and they're gonna make some new games but that's the thing though it's garbage that they have to go off scene like off the record and do it on their own yeah i mean it is garbage it's like wouldn't it have been better if mighty number nine was just a really awesome mega man game 
Yeah, because then, I mean, it would be Mega Man. Exactly. Like, I don't... Like, the, I mean, it basically is Mega Man, but you're still not... You're playing as Mighty Number no. 9. You're not Mega Man. Yeah. And, like, there's no way Mighty Number no. 9 can be cooler than Mega Man. No. In no a million chance. years. No chance. There's zero chance. He might be okay. Yeah. But he's. I'm just going to be wishing he was blue and had a gun on his hand. Yeah, he looks like Mega Man, but I'd rather have Mega Man. Exactly. So. And it's a shame that the... the that is where everything's going. All the good old school developers are just just doing Kickstarters. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, it's just the way the business is. Like, Capcom can't even make these games anymore. They've fallen so far. So, like, I would love... You know what would be the greatest I think I could hear at E3? It is a new Devil May Cry. And it's not going to happen. Well, or, weren't you or, afraid or, after the most recent one? No, because it was okay. Yeah, but, like... That kind of went in a strange direction. Yeah, that took it right off the rails. It did. It, it killed it for most people. Uh-huh. It was vulgar and weird, and like Dante looked stupid. Dante looked terrible. And like what they should have done is continued on with Nero, because he was fun and cool. Yeah, he was a cool character. So, yeah. And then just had Dante in the background like they did. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I mean, 4 pissed off a lot of people, too, because it's just like... It seemed like half a game twice, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah, because then you play as him and Dante. Yeah, you played through the game as him, and then you played through the game backwards as Dante. Oh, uh, I don't remember that. Yeah. I mean, I beat it, but I don't remember that. Yeah, it was like you went forwards through the game, you get to a certain point, Nero gets kidnapped, and Dante has to go backwards through the game to rescue him. That's cheap ass. It is very cheap ass. But, I mean, it was fun. They played different. Yeah, his claw was awesome. What? The His, like, claw. Oh, the claw, yeah. That was the thing, like, I felt like they forced Dante into that game and they should have just made Nero longer in the star because he was, he was a lot more fun to play. Yeah, I agree. like, the pinnacle of Dante, you did everything you were going to do with him in 3. Like, 3 is the perfect Devil May Cry game for Dante. And they were like, well, let's come out with a new character. And they did that, and that was amazing. They should have just stuck with him and made that whole game about him instead of, Oh, we gotta shove Dante in here. People aren't gonna like it. They should have shoved Dante in, but just a story. Yeah, like not playable or anything, or maybe one time. And it's the same thing with like God of War. Like, I'd love a new God of War, but like, I'm sick of Kratos. Mm-hmm. Like, make a God of War and like maybe fight Norris gods. Yeah, so, that's what it should be. Yeah, something like that. Uh, I'll fight any gods. I don't want to fight the Christian. They're not gonna have us fighting Christian God because that would be. Too much, too much, like, political drama. But there are old religions out there you can fight and kill. Like, no one kills if you're murdering Odin. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. So, like, they could do something like that with God of War, but they'll never, they're not. They should do it, but it should be a chick. Yes. Chick. It should be a badass chick Kratos. Yes. Badass chick Kratos would be awesome. Yeah, it'd be cool. But, yeah, that, just stuff like that's dead. Like, there aren't action games anymore. Yeah. Which was my favorite genre. Do you think... Do you think they're going to come out with another God of War? I mean, there's rumors that 4 is going to come out. I mean, they are probably, they might, but they're not going to make a God of War without Kratos. Uh, yeah, they're not going to. You're right. And like, I'm I'm done with Kratos. Yeah. I was done with Kratos after 3. So you really don't care? No. Nah. Even if they made one. I mean, I'd play it. I'd be a lot more excited if it was God of War, but something different. Like, we were talking, like norris gods with the chick yeah like that would be that would really excite me more kratos i know i'm done with him i didn't think he was that cool to begin with yeah i mean he was okay but i mean three really ruined him for me why because of the sneak attack no because it's like (laughs) it turned out that he was the reason he was able to do this is because he opened pandora's box and he had hope inside him or something do you remember that nonsense yeah well how does this gory vulgar is completely disgusting game turned into a Disney movie. Yeah, before. about hope. hope. Like, <laughs> he was cool because he was fueled by his rage. Like, the only reason he should have succeeded is because he was so angry. No, because you had hope in him the whole time. Like, that ruined the entire series for me. Yeah, I just kind of was like, yeah, okay. And that's a bad thing with God of War 3 is, like, never... They, I never start a game on a climax because that thing shot downhill quick. It's true. It's like, all right, we're storming, we're storming Olympus. 
Oh, now we fell into Hades. Oh, now we got to do this again. <laughs> it's like, I be- this is the third time I've escaped Hades. Like, I'm not too worried about it. I know I'm getting out of here. <laughs> oh, the first time, though, man. That was awesome. <sighs> uh, I loved God of chills. War, man. Chills, yeah. man. Chills. First two God of Wars. I'm going to put God of War as, like, one of my favorite series of all time. Then the third, I'm like, no. And then they made Ascension, and I was like, this is just the worst one. But, yeah. It's a shame we don't get shit like that anymore. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. What, what were we talking about? Aquaman. Aquaman. <laughs> <laughs> what? How did that go to that's that? That's where that started. That's where that started. The okay. last thing I have on my sheets, Aquaman. <laughs> Aquaman. Somehow that started from Aquaman. You know what, Aquaman? Oh, no, you know Fuck what? Fuck God I, of War. Yeah, because I said uh, Red Dead. <laughs> that's right. That's no, right. it was yeah. Red Dead. Yeah, that was Red anyway, Dead. Anyway, fuck you, Aquaman. Yeah, fuck, fuck you, God Aquaman. <laughs> Quick. Games we're playing. Go. Go. I am playing... Uh, actually, I'm just playing one game. It's uh, Castlevania for the DS, which Order of Aleskia or something. I can't. I have no idea how to I pronounce it. I can never it. pronounce it either. Yeah, I can never pronounce it. It's awesome. Cool. I picked it up for 17 bucks at GameStop. Yeah. I just wanted to play an old school 2D Castlevania. Actually, I would say it's the best one. So A+. Plus? A+. Plus, yes. Oh, ah, cool. You want my laundry list? Go. Okay. Hitman. Hey. The Division. Wow. Zelda Twilight Princess. Damn. Bravely Second Demo, and Salt and Sanctuary. Okay. So now, out of all that, what's your favorite? Right now? Yeah. Oh, God. Zelda. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know why I even asked. Okay. You uh, silly bastard. Af- after Zelda. Actually, probably Salt and Sanctuary. All right. What is this? I've never even heard you of it. You don't know what this no. is? No. Um, I didn't think you did. Okay. I actually had it in the news, but then I bought it and played it. You know what it is? What is it's it? It's 2D platforming Dark Souls. And it is the same exact game. Up to the weight, equipment, inventory, spells, Souls. weapons, everything. It's called Salts. Salts. Yeah. But it's gory as hell, scary. It's awesome. Like, I'm completely blown away. Is this a PS4 game? Yeah. Dude, I want to play this. I have it. We'll Wait, play. You know what I'm going to do? My next day off, I'm bringing my PlayStation to somebody's house that has internet, and I'm downloading it. Yeah, check it out. I'll let you play it tonight. It's yeah. awesome. How much is it? 18 bucks. Okay, because that sounds amazing. Yeah. Um, it's 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 not even similar to Dark Souls. It is Dark Souls. Like, you drop bottles on the ground from people, drop bottles, and you can read them. Mm-hmm. It's a complete ripoff, but they did it so well, and it's so much fun that I don't care. Like, it, it feels like it's just completely paying homage to it. And it's 2D. It's completely 2D. Oh, man. That sounds amazing. And the bosses, I bought, I fought one. I beat them. The second one, I can't beat them. It feels just like Dark Souls. Yes. That's it's what I like. hard as hell. And you get two win. You get like two weapon fighting if you want, or you could just do the shield. Mm-hmm. You have a bow, and there's a ma- mage and a cleric and all that. You like start off with a job. That sounds so good. Yeah. It's really, really fun. All right. I'm going to butt so definitely. I, and I can't. It's like I have to recommend it because it's only $18. Yeah. And I... Pff. And that it's coming awesome. for it's coming for Vita, mm-hmm. but not yet. It's only on PS4 right now. Yeah, because I'm excited because Dark Souls is coming out. I wanted to play some Dark Souls, get mm-hmm. that fixed. Yeah, so it will. And then it's coming out for PC as well, but later. So PS4 right now is the only place you can get it. Well, I'm gonna hopefully get that on the next. I'll day let off. you check it out. Make sure you can. Yeah. To make sure you like Definitely. it. It's awesome. So check it out. Salt and Sanctuary. Salt and Sanctuary. That sounds amazing. Yep. Alright everyone, now it's time for Defense and Kessler's favorite power-up slash weapons in video games. We're not going to do a list, we're just going to give a general... Throw some out there. Yeah, just ones that we, top of our head, the ones we loved. Yes. Alright, should I start? Go, yeah. Okay, Master Sword. Alright. Don't need to say anything more. Okay. It's a pivotal moment in every Zelda game when you acquire the Master Sword, and it's amazing. Yeah, it is always great. Okay. It's always an epic scene, too. Yes, it's always awesome. So uh, I think my favorite would have been the Ocarina, cause, or uh, Link to the Past, because you go in the forest. Yeah, and you get it from, yeah. Yeah, I it love is that awesome. scene. Okay. Well, I'll just go with my Zelda ones, then. I have the Sprint Shoes. Yes. Sprint Shoes are so important. <laughs> they are, dude. It makes the game so much faster. Mm-hmm, I agree. And then m- probably the n- the most important power-up bottled fairies yep that's my second okay it's in there 
So we agree on Fairy that. Fairy bottle. Yes. Yeah. So that that's mine. And I'll go with my next one then. The hook shot is my third favorite. I do song. love the hook shot. And the reason is, is because once you get the hook shot, you pretty much have free reign of the rest of the game. Mm-hmm. Everything you couldn't get before, you can pretty much get now. Yeah, because you have the hook shot. Yeah, exactly. And you can hook it to grass, to sides. It's just awesome. I love it. And then in Twilight Princess, you get the dual hook shots. I know. That's the best so thing ever. You're like Spider-Man and shit. Yeah. Okay. So I love the hook shot. I love... Okay, I went. one I like is the screw attack from Metroid. Yeah, I have that too. Love that attack. It's just so satisfying. Spinning ball of death. It's perfect. Yeah. It's exactly what you... You want the whole game, and then you get it. You're yeah. like, finally. Yes, the screw attack, finally. Uh, I got a little bit of a different one. I kind of try to reach out there because I knew the Zelda ones would be obvious. Um, so I did the try, like the try red turtle shells from Mario Kart. Yes. I love those because the blue shells are bullshit. Yeah, blue shells have been a bane of my existence. So I'm not putting out. it in there. They're cheap ass. I love the red. When you get three red turtle shells, you feel like a freaking monster. Yeah, and you are. Yeah. You're an unstoppable machine at that so, point. So I, I love those. I think they're fun. Yeah. Uh, I got a spread shot from Contra. Me too. Yeah. Oh, I mean, it's, <laughs> it's the, undeniable. Yeah, it's the best one. It's game changing. Yeah. It's the only, it's the little ounce of hope that you have to beat that game. <laughs> yeah. It's like, if you're going to do anything in Contra, you need the spread shot. Yeah, you get the laser. It doesn't do anything. No, the flamethrower doesn't do anything. Yeah, you need the spread shot. Okay, I have the beetle, but not from the Zelda game. Oh, that was where I was going. Smash Brothers. Oh, yeah. That's it's good. so fun when you get hit. You throw it across the map, and you just get that one person. You're like, what the? No. And yeah. you just fly into heaven. You're not paying attention, and then you get beetled. You're like, no. I wasn't even fighting you. Why did you do this to me? It's the biggest F you you can do in that game. And uh, I love it. And it's- if you have, like... You just came in, you're at like 2%, and you get beetled. It's the worst <laughs> feeling in the world. I mean, how many times? We played with like four or five people at a time, and how many times is the last kill just the beetle? Yeah, it's it's so <laughs> epic. It's so, it's so much fun. I love it. Yeah, it's all it's borderline unfair. But it is. Good. Next, um, I have summons in general. Okay, yeah, they're awesome. Um, If I had to partic- pick a particular one, Shiva. Oh, yeah. The princess, ice princess. Yeah, she's awesome. I mean, Ifrit's really awesome, too. I love yeah. my favorite Ifrit's from 10. Yeah. Um, my favorite Shiva is probably from 10 as well. Okay. So we'll just go best summons 10. Did yeah. you say that? Yeah, because what you get, is his name Anima? Yeah. I love him, dude. Yeah. He's awesome. Seymour's mom. Yes. I think that's who that is, yeah. if I recall correctly. And it's so, it's just so gruesome. Like when she, I guess it's a she, yeah. She attacks and like her eye, it, she uses her eye yeah, and it starts bleeding. Yeah, it's so brutal. Yeah, and then she's all chained up. It's so awesome. I also like the Magus sisters in that, like yeah, the three silly. bug girls. They're cute. Yeah, they're fun. They're awesome. So. Is, is Yoshi Mitsu in that? Yeah. Is that his name? Yeah, I think that's his name. And you have to pay like p- coin to. Like... Yeah, you have to pay him to attack, <laughs> which is funny. That is so funny. And uh, yeah, I just like all the summons. Actually, I like Rama. I, th- I think. Odin. Is is that Odin Rama? Yeah, they're like kind of the same. Okay, so that's the one in Final Fantasy 15 demo that they get. Okay, dude, it's incredible. Yeah, it's the only reason I want the game. I'm yeah. I just I, I only want it because of the name. Have so. you seen it? Nah. You got to see that summon, dude. It's I'll, amazing. I'll look into it. You should, because it's so badass. Yeah, and if we're getting some Final Fantasies, we'll also throw limit breaks. Overdrives, all that stuff yeah, in there. They're awesome. I'll go Limit Breaks from Seven are probably the best version of that. Yeah, I love Tifa's. Just all the punches. Yeah, she has the dolphin punch, which is like an uppercut. Yeah, that hits you with the dolphin for some reason. <laughs> I'm, I'm cool with it. Yeah, it's fine. It's great. <laughs> She's awesome. And then I think we both agree the Metal Blade from Mega Man. Yes, that's yeah, the best Mega that's Man. That's my next weapon. one, and it's it's incredible. It's but, so good. You could just use the whole game. Yeah, it doesn't like drain energy when you use it. Like yeah, and it fires in like directions. Let's it's, let's just say that if Mega Man could be patched, that would get nerfed. Yeah, it definitely would. It's so <laughs> OP. It is. Which is it's great. Uh, my Mega Man one for Mega Man X. I have the Hadouken. Yes, kills everything in one hit. That's I. I never got it. I didn't even know it existed, but it, when you told me about it, yeah, it's so hard to find. Like you would never find it without a strategy. T- tell, tell, tell us. 
you have to find every item in the game. Okay. And then there's this one stage where you ride a minecart to the end of it. You have to do that three times, get to this platform, quit three times, and then on the fourth one, there'll be a pod magically there, and it's in there. <laughs> it's like we were supposed to figure this out, apparently, before the internet. <laughs> okay, my question is, if you get to that platform, can you get off of the platform? Without dying? Yes. Don't recall. So maybe they're anticipating you getting this platform being like, damn it, quit. Yeah. Damn it, quit. Damn it, <laughs> quit. <laughs> yeah, but he would think that it would finally appear. I know. It's ridiculous. That is ridiculous. But it's cool nonetheless. Yeah. My next one is the unlimited grenade launcher from Devil May Cry. I believe you get that in hell in the first one. Yeah. Yeah. I felt so awesome when I got that, and I was so excited. That is a good weapon. It's like a game. It's like a game gave me infinite grenade launching. That is always what I want. <laughs> I loved it. I thought it was so good. Yeah, my Devil May Cry weapon is actually going to be the gauntlets used to punch people. Dude, with. Yes. Right. Do you, so. Do you use those a lot? Um, mainly in three, I use them a lot because they're the best weapon. I would say in three. Oh, really? Uh huh. Like you can do the most damage with that weapon. I would say. Oh, cool. I, I mean, I didn't really know that. Yeah, it's the best one in three. They're in four too, but they're not as good. I don't remember why. They oh they they changed the the combo is not quick enough anymore. Oh okay. They extended it, so they changed it up, and it's not as it's good. Kind of like nerfed it. Yeah, almost. I got gotcha. you. All right, so I'm going to give my bayonetta one. Okay. The rock rock shasa. Which what is that? That's from the second one. Okay. It's the it's the swords. That you can uh, put on your hands and your feet. Yeah, those are sweet. Loved them. Like, I used those through the whole game. Nice. Yeah. I, I actually put Bayonetta on here, and it's uh, the Love is Blue guns. That's just her guns, right? Just her standard guns. Yeah, they're it's, so good. I, I'm putting it on there because they, there was the equipping them on your feet. And I love the name Love is Blue <laughs> <laughs> for your four guns. <laughs> I don't know why. I just it's not love. even. It's not even four words. Yeah. It's three. Yeah. I I think the guns are blue, right? I don't think. Yeah, they I are. don't even remember if the guns are blue. But I, I just, just. I want to. They they have to be. I don't. I don't know. I don't yeah. think they are. Yeah, I just remember them being called "Love Is Blue," and I'm like, <laughs> that is ridiculous. You know what? They might be pink, actually. I don't know. Yeah. I don't think they're... I don't know if they're a color. Like, I don't know if they're, like... They're a, they have to be a color. I yeah. mean, like, I don't know if they're, like, an untraditional gun color. Yeah. I think they are. Okay. All right. We'll look into this, and we won't report back. Okay. Sounds good. <laughs> My next one, Threaded Cane. Yes. I actually have that as well. Nice. Pimp Cane. Yes. There's nothing better than having a pimp cane and then transferring it into a, a spiked whip. Yeah, it's the greatest weapon ever. <laughs> I mean, it's definitely in the top ten. Oh, yeah. I that's, love that one. That's weapon. why it's right there. Yeah. Um, I have, let's see, I have the gravity gun from Half-Life. Yes. Too. I don't know. So satisfying. So great. Especially in the end when it goes out of control and you can just pick up people and start throwing them around. <laughs> yes. I always love getting the razor blades and shooting people with them and cutting off limbs and stuff. Yeah. It's so good. Oh, yeah. I love it. Okay. So I only have one more. Oh, really? Yeah. I got a couple more. So okay, go why don't you go for it? I want to. I want to okay, save mine um, for last. All right, I have. Well, it's my favorite. The one, cross so. from Castlevania. Yeah, that's a good one. It's a good one. Um, the wo- hammer from God of War. Okay. Um, God of War Two. I did, you're you're a hammer guy. I, I, in God of War Two, it's really good. Okay. I put this one on here for my boss. Uh, vacuum in Luigi's mansion. <laughs> that's great. Yeah, he loves that for some reason. I was like, you know what? I love that too. I'm putting it on here. Speaking of which, tangent. Did you? see that there's a luigi's mansion arcade in i think japan no but i want to do that and and you use the vacuum that is the best thing i've <laughs> it's, ever it's heard like, it's, it's like a gun but it's a vacuum oh man <laughs> why don't we have this i don't know but it's it looks awesome yeah. there's just like a dude holding it like pictures <laughs> of him playing it he's just like vacuuming up <laughs> that's so great i know it's awesome oh uh, let's see what else do i have here um i have uh time powers from beautiful joe very good. Slowing down time, speeding up time. Love it. And then, let's see, is that all of them? Yeah, that's all That's all I thought of. Okay. I got my main one, my number one. Okay. So, I'll let you, since you did them, I'll do my number one. Okay, what's your number one? Flying Knee from Double Dragon 2. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I can, can, that actually is my number one as well, so we won't even do mine. <laughs> There's nothing better. 
I think yeah. in any video game. It is the most satisfying <laughs> attack of all time. <laughs> it really is. Yeah. It kills everything <laughs> in one hit. <laughs> Fly oh, across. So great. <laughs> yeah, so that's my number one. I mean, it's not technically a power-up, but you got to know how to do it. And it's a powerful attack. And it's amazing. Oh, it's so good. All right, my number one is kind of a tie. Okay. Um, because it's so similar and it's in the same game. So I'm going bees from Bioshock. Okay. And then I'm going crows from Bioshock infinite. Okay. So, Uh, and the reason is because I hate fighting bees and I hate fighting crows. So it's awesome to use them as a weapon. (laughs) F you computer. You can, (laughs) yeah, you fight a crow for once in your life. And they can't. They, and they can't. can't they can't it. handle it. Same with the bees. And I just, I, I would say I'll go crows just because a bunch of crows are called a murder. Yeah. So the whole time you can just be like, go my murder. <laughs> go murder my murder. <laughs> yes. It's so fun. And they, they're just <laughs> picking out crow. It's the best. I don't know why. I just love it. If I had to give a title to this podcast, this episode, it would be go murder my murder. <laughs> yes. Okay. That's the, in fact, that's our new sign off. Go murder my murder. Go murder my murder. <laughs> it's so poetic. It really is. <laughs> okay, so if you had to pick one, which one would you pick? I'm going with the murder. So you do the murder. Okay. Just just because of that, like I want to yell, go my murder. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's good. Murder it's my better murder. than a swarm, for yeah. sure. I like a lot of um, Bioshock ones, too. Yeah. Like I love the um, Incinerate from the original because you snap your fingers. Yeah, it's so good. Yeah. It wasn't even that good or <laughs> No, useful. but it's so fun. Yeah, it's, just... Because that's what I want to do in real life. Just someone pisses me off and snap my fingers and they light up on fire. Yeah, because if you were going to... If you had that power, that's exactly how you would use it. You just snap your fingers. Yeah, exactly. Burn them alive. I like uh, Shock Infinite. I really like the... Uh, what is that one called? It's like the horse, but like you hit people and they like fly into the air. Then you just shoot them because if someone's behind cover, you can just hit them with that and then just shoot them when they're floating in the air. I don't know what it's called. Is it like a stallion or something? Yeah, bucking bronco. That's what it is. That's what it is. Yeah, because it bucks them up in the air. Makes sense. Yeah, that one's good. Um, I like the octopus pulling people in to shotgun them. There's so many good ones in Bioshock. Re- refresh my memory. How many can you have at one time? In Bioshock? Yeah. Two. Two. Okay. Yeah. And I mean, you can, you have them all, but you just have, I mean, like on your loadout. An in infinite two. Okay. I don't remember the original Bioshock. I don't remember how it works. I think it's the same. Yeah. I think they kept that. Maybe. I don't know. And an honorary mention on my part that I forgot to ma- mention in here is the, the super punch from Punch Out. Yes. There's nothing better that than is a Punch good one. Out with, with the star punches. And then yeah. since we didn't throw any of them on here, um, Cape. For Mario would be my favorite Mario power up. The cape? Yeah, the Ugh. cape. I hate the cape. Super Mario World? Yeah. Love the cape. Dude, when You're you, ridiculous. Dude, when you like push it up like a parachute, give me a good explanation on how to control the damn thing. Yeah. You just go forward and then back. It's not that hard. It is. I, I dude, I played Mario World the other day and I'm like, I can't control this maniac. <laughs> okay. Do you like the raccoon tail better? I love it. Okay, so you'd go raccoon tail? Yeah. Is that your favorite Mario power-up? See, I I really like the frog. Yeah, the frog is cool. And then the newer ones, the penguin. But they're useless. Yeah, they really don't do anything. But they're cool, nonetheless. I would say, yeah, I'd probably say Raccoon Tail is like the one, like if you see it, you get it. Yeah. No matter what. It's Mm -hmm. pretty good. I would say I like uh, the Chaos Emeralds from Sonic as well. Not, not not familiar. Yeah. Well, they were early in the later ones. Oh, okay. And the only reason I knew that is because I recently played, I think it was Sonic CD on my GameCube. And if you collect them all, he just turns into, like, Super Saiyan Sonic. And you just, like, you can just run through the whole stage. It's awesome. It's <laughs> cool. Yeah. And, I mean, I don't really like Sonic, though. That's that's why I was kind of... I was only playing it because my brother was playing it. Yeah, I was kind of weirded out that you were playing it. Yeah, the only thing I like from Sonic is in Sonic Adventure 2, that song. <laughs> you remember that song? <laughs> I, I do. City Escape. Yep. Okay, if you've never heard that, we should put it at the end of the cast. All right, it's going to be there. It's going to be there. Just listen for two more seconds yeah, and you'll get it. Yeah, it's so funny. Because <laughs> just keep in mind, this was in the actual game. <laughs> That's why it's so great. <laughs> All right, that's what we'll have. That's what we'll end on then. That's what we're gonna end the show with. Okay. 
All right. Well, that's it for me. You got anything else? I got nothing. All right. Uh, that's your that's your weekly flock of geeks gaming podcast thanks for listening everyone yeah be sure to check out dragon power if you are itching for some more podcasting yes and where can they find us they can find us on facebook twitter youtube soundcloud twitch and all i did want to say thank you to everyone for the sport on the street fighter video yeah it was great it was great i did not think i'd get that many views i mean um, at one point we were shooting for 200 and then the next day we had over 300 yeah we're, like last i checked it it was at 350 so i only got one thumbs down and that fuck that guy and <laughs> yeah, whatever yeah who cares you know what's you know what you know what he can't take away from us what's that his view yeah exactly so he can shove it and i i am just happy i I think it turned out well and we learned a lot about it and I got some really good feedback from a lot of friends and we're going to keep it up and hopefully the next one will be better. Yeah, we worked hard and I think it really paid off and I'm glad we just got something out there and it was well, you know, well supported and well received by yeah. everyone. It seems so. Thanks guys. Yeah, we really appreciate it and stay tuned next week. You'll get another one. Yeah, we're going to do another review. I'm excited. Yeah. Wonder what it'll be. Who knows? We're <laughs> just gonna keep you in suspense. Yeah, we're not gonna tell you. I think that's best we do it that way. Yeah, we're we're gonna try to keep keep them coming, but it's kind of hard to get them out every week. Yeah, so it we really might is. it might be like kind of a bi weekly thing. Like they are a lot of fucking work. Yeah, they are. Like it took me three days to write it. it took you eight hours to edit it. It was. Yeah, it was it was definitely a a job worthy thing. Yeah, it was. Let, a shit let's just show. say I can see why YouTubers. That's their main job. Yeah, because, I mean, it's a lot of work. It is. So, yeah, hopefully next week we'll have something for you. So, yeah. Thanks, guys. And if you enjoyed us, throw us a like, uh, throw us a like, subscribe, follow. Ooh. And if you have any comments or suggestions or any kind of top ten list or anything like that you'd like us to talk about or review, uh, hit us up at flockageeksgaming at gmail.com. And that's it. Go murder my murder. Murder. <laughs>